This tutorial looks at how to keep your balance when wing foiling. To understand foiling balance, it helps to look from the back of the board along the roll axis or longitudinal axis. How you position your weight from this perspective is key to staying balanced. Firstly, it's easier to balance when your weight is approximately in line with the mast. Your weight should be roughly upright compared to the deck of the board. This keeps some pressure on your toes and some pressure on your heels and helps you stay connected with the board. It's important to note that we do lean away from this upright position for a few reasons. For example, we lean to roll the board and control its course. Leaning towards toe side pressures your toes and moves the board towards a toe side roll. Leaning towards heel side pressures your heels and moves the board towards a heel side roll. If you keep these leans minimal, you can control your course and keep contact with the board. If you lean too far towards heel side, you start to lose pressure under your toes and then lose contact with the board. If you lean too far towards toe side, you start to lose pressure under your heels and then lose contact with the board. In this example, the rider's weight is tilted too far toe side of the mast line. In this example, the rider's weight is tilted too far heel side of the mast line. The power of your wing affects your lean and your ability to balance. Generally, for your first flights, you aim for a slight upwind course in heel side stance. In that case, you need a little power from the wing to maintain foiling speed. The wing's force does pull your weight towards toe side. So, to stay balanced, you do need to lean slightly towards heel side. If you don't account for the wing's force, you can lose balance. If you're in hillside stance with no hillside lean and you then power the wing significantly, you will get dragged and tilted towards toe side. This can easily cause learners to lose balance just like this example. Or if you have a high hillside lean with the wing's force helping you balance and you then depower the wing, you'll drop back. With practice, you learn to use the wing to improve balance and course control. Briefly powering the wing can bring you forwards. Briefly depowering the wing can help you drop back. Eventually, you can use the wing to save yourself from falling. Here, for example, the rider has too much heel side lean and is about to fall. Their toes have already lost contact with the board. A quick pump of the wing brings their weight towards toe side and corrects balance. The total amount that you roll the foil and board has a huge effect on balance. As a beginner, you'll find it much easier to balance by sticking to smaller roll angles only. Keeping the mast almost upright. A small hillside roll is plenty to ride up wind. Or a small toe side roll is plenty to do a heel to toe jibe. When you use higher roll angles, it's much easier to fall. With a larger roll, you stall or drop much sooner as soon as you lose some speed. Or with a larger roll, you drop when you lose the force from the wing. There are some other factors that affect balance, such as pitch, which controls height, and yaw, which means twisting the board. Those foil skills are covered in separate tutorials. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or tips of your own, please add them in the comments below.